Hi everyone, good afternoon. It is Sarah Shipton here from Scrapbooking with Sarah and I am coming live to you today on August, oh I think it's August 12th. <laughs> No, it's August 13. I'm coming live to you on August 13, 2024 with this week's Technique Tuesday class. And girls, I am so excited to share this week's scrapbooking layout with you because I am just completely in love with these photos. These photos were taken earlier this year <clears throat> on um, a trip that Darren and I took. Um, as part of the incentive trip with Close to My Heart earlier this year to Cancun, um, we extended our trip and we spent some time traveling in the United States. And this was some time we spent in New York City. And this is the beautiful Central Park. So we were there in March, which is the end of their autumn. Is that right? Um February, March, April. Yes. The end of their autumn. No. Oh my gosh. Spring. No. <laughs> December, January, February is their winter. March, April, May is their spring. Right. Okay. So this is the beginning of their spring we were there for. And let me tell you girls, New York City has been on my bucket list forever and I was so excited that I was able to make this dream come true. You can see here with my journaling piece here, <clears throat> a dream come true strolling through Central Park in NYC. You couldn't wipe the smile off of my face. A crisp spring day, but still stunning and so picturesque. So, so, so excited to be spending some time there and already figuring out how I can get back there because I just loved it so much. And me and NYC have some unfinished business. So to share this scrapbooking layout with you today, I mean, I just love how it's all come together. But most importantly, what I'm most passionate about, aside from obviously the creative aspect and all these beautiful colors just match perfectly with my photos, aside from the creative aspect, what I'm always most passionate to share with you are my photos and my stories, because I know that inspires you also with your memory keeping with your storytelling and to print your photos and get them in your scrapbook pages. So thank you so much for having me share with you. So this week's challenge, we are on pattern number 13 from the Close to My Heart, Make It From Your Heart, Volume 6 book. Pattern number 13 is on page 30 of the book. And the thing I love about this particular layout is they actually have a circular pattern in the layout here. So we've got one large nine inch circle here on the left hand side of the layout. And then we've got three smaller circles here with a three and a half inch circle down the right hand side um, of the scrapbooking layout. And as you can see, I have done some circular patterns down the right hand side here, but I didn't cut a circle pattern for the left hand side of my layout. And instead I cut a nine by nine inch square piece of paper. And I put that onto my scrapbook layout instead. So I have actually altered the layout a little bit. And I'm going to give you some tips on how I've done that today. So um, just before <clears throat> I start on that, I want to talk to you because this week's technique is actually learning how to turn your card making kit into a scrapbooking layout. So we've got Diane that's joined us today. Hi, Di. Thanks so much for being here. So I wanted to share with you how to turn your Stampin' Up! card making kit into a scrapbooking layout. And the reason why I was actually inspired by a fellow previous Close to My Heart maker that transitioned across to Stampin' Up! She had created a fantastic layout that snips by Kelly. Um, she's based in the United States and she had created a layout also using this card making kit um, to scrapbook some of her US city photos and it really inspired me to do something with mine. I loved the colours. When I saw the colours initially for this card making kit, I thought, oh my gosh, 
I wish we had something similar to this with some scrapbooking paper because I saw these card bases and it immediately made me think of New York City with this beautiful um, high-rise building pattern and then the reflection in the water. As we know, New York City is an island. It's surrounded by water. And um, when we took the Staten Island Ferry out to go past the Statue of Liberty, looking back at this view, when I look at this card, it literally makes me think of that particular view where you are on the ferry and you're going away from Manhattan and you look back and you just see all these beautiful buildings and the water around it as well. So it automatically made me think of my New York City photos and how I wanted to scrapbook those. Miss Melinda has joined us. Mel, I know you are going to be so inspired by this week's creation because not far until she's off to New York City herself and you are going to have the best time. I'm so excited for you. I'm a little jealous as well. I'm not going to lie, but you know that I'm more excited than jealous for you. Absolutely. So I really hope that this week's Technique Tuesday class inspires you. So I love these colors. As you can see with the nails, we've got the boho blue matching for this week's Technique Tuesday. So let's open up our kit collection and have a look at what's actually in the kit. Um, and then I'm going to walk through my thought process of converting this into a scrapbook layout. As you can see here, these are my finished cards. So if you were to create the card making kit as it was intended to be created, let's open up the box. When you purchase up a Stampin' Up! kit collection, it comes in this beautifully packaged box. Um, it's got shrink wrap around it, which I've actually taken off. And the first thing you'll see is, um, well, everything actually is shrink wrapped inside the box. But as you can see here, the first thing I've pulled out is the instruction guide. Um, and you are going to create four cards. Um, in each of these designs. So we've got four of these happy birthday um, portrait style cards and then you've got four of these thinking of you cards in a landscape format. So as you can see, I've created one of each of the cards the way that they've intended to be made. So your card base is all pre-designed. You can see you've got the city um, skyscape pattern here on the front of the card. Um, on the inside is white. It's already scored. So what you have to do is fold that over with your bone folder. Um, and then you get all these other little components here that we've actually stuck on the front of the card. These come in the kit as well. Okay. So um, I'm going to walk you through those. And then with your landscape card, same again. Um, this color is slightly different. So this is a light gray that we've got here, which is actually basic beige. And this is um, a light blue, which is probably a lighter version of the boho blue. Uh, but again, um, your <clears throat> landscape cards come pre-designed, already scored. So you just have to, um, they come flat with the score in them. So you do need to actually fold that over and then run your bone folder across the edge of those to um, flatten that down. And you can see again here, you've got the cityscape and then you've got all your embellishments to go over the top of your cards here. So each of the kit collection and this city site one in particular comes with instructions. So it shows you here how you can put the card together uh, one by one. Um, and there are, then there are um, some stamping tips and some adhesive tips and then also how to step-by-step step, um, lay your cards out. I literally just kind of copied the front of the instruction guide here as well. Um, there are kits for every occasion, so you can head on to my website um, scrapbooking with Sarah Shipton dot stampin up dot net just click on shop now and then kits and you will see all of the currently available kits uh, just to temper expectations this particular kit is currently unavailable on my website now um, but there is going to be more stock of that coming in because it's listed as currently unavailable the other thing I love about the instruction guide with the kits, um, it outlines all the components of the kit so you've got enough supplies here for eight cards and eight envelopes there's a QR code that you can scan. So if you're moving along with what else is in the kit, so how cute is this? You get um, a little block. So this is actually what you use to put your stamp on. You get a little stamp and spot. So this is in the color of Pebbled Path, which is so fun because um, this is also a great way to build up your little ink supplies as well. So I've got this little stamp and spot now, so I could use this again and again until it runs out before I invest in um, the larger color. You also get um, a stamp. So this particular stamp, so not all of the kit collections come with a stamp set. So this particular kit retailed for, 
I think it was 39 off the top of my head. It was either 39 or 41. So that pricing typically means that a stamp set will be included. But there are some other stamp sets in, um, sorry, there are some other kit collections on my website that don't include stamping. So the price point of those kits is literally like only about 25 bucks. So really great. They've got some different options there. So if you're new to stamping, what we do is we take the stamp off of the carrier sheet, pop it onto the block here. We then ink it up with the stamp and spot and then you can apply pressure and you can actually stamp your um, image onto your pre-cut um, design. So you've got the stamp set there. They give you a little pack of the um, embellishments. So in this case, we've got some, um, this is like almost a rose gold, little rose gold dots. So we pop those on the cards. You also get your adhesive. So you do not need to buy anything extra with these kit collections, girls. This has got a packet of the tearing tape in it. So that's your adhesive. And then it came with all of these little embellishments as well. So what I've got here are some pre-cut discs saying happy birthday. It does come in three other languages other than English. So what you want to do is you want to keep those um, because you can use them for embellishing your extra cards or putting on your layouts you can see here it's come with um this little uh pre-cut arrow here uh, that's already dovetailed so we're popping that on the card and then it's come with some other embellishment sentiments uh which are thinking of you today again in other languages you want to hang on to those you can see where i've used them here on the layout i'll give you a close-up of that um, shortly so you've got all those little extra bits and pieces in there um, it also came with some foam dimensionals. So that's what I've used to stick my circular cityscape design onto my card. And then um, it came with, I'm just going to pull these ones out first. So these are my circular cityscape designs. As you can see, this is already pre-cut. All I have to do is stamp the image onto the top of my um, circular design. And then it came with these pre-cut cityscape um, <clears throat> embellishments as well. So again, all I have to do is stamp my cityscape stamp onto that pre-cut embellishment. So that was already all done for me. And then it came with um, all of the card bases. So I got eight in total. Um, four that were this design and the other four which were the uh, landscape design and they're the ones I've used on my scrapbook layout. So I've still got these three cards left over. So I could create another scrapbook layout out of this or I could actually just keep it as is and make my cards out of those. It then came with my basic beige and boho blue envelopes as well um, and you can see here these are the back of the card bases that I've cut down um, so again I could use those on a, another scrapbook layer or I could just cut this down and stick this on the back of a plain white card on the front of a plain white card and then I've got that covered base already for my um, greeting card. You can see here where I've used my circle die to cut out of the um, card and also the envelope where I've cut two circles out of the envelope. So I'm going to leave those aside so I can show you there as a close-up. And then in here, I've just got some leftover scraps that I <clears throat> had used from the kit. So let's talk now about the... Um, design itself just for some tips with this now if you are going to recreate this layout using a card collection um, <clears throat> then I definitely encourage you to do so but if you are creating this layout um, just from your normal Stampin' Up or Close to My Heart papers that you already have at home um, then you've got a couple of options here for the actual design so as I mentioned earlier I actually didn't cut out a nine inch circle I've cut my cardstock at nine inch by nine inch. Um, and then I've popped that underneath the bottom here and I've used the boho blue for that. So before I had my coughing fit, this is what I was talking about when I was working out my coordinating Stampin' Up! colors. I've used boho blue cardstock here and I've used basic beige cardstock here. Now, the basic beige cardstock, you can only purchase that in a packet of A4 in a single color um, 
and then the boho blue comes in the 2023 to 2025 in color cardstock pack so you do need to purchase a whole packet of coordinating cardstock with other colors in it as well to get this color um you can oh it is available a4 as well but then again the a4 size not so versatile um for scrapbooking because we do love the 12 by 12 inch size bases but that's not to say you couldn't get an a4 sheet of cardstock and cut that down for sure which is what i've done here to get my two photo mats for my portrait photos so um <clears throat> when it came to creating um the pattern that goes through the middle of both my left and my right hand side page um, I did use my card bases here, as you could see, and then my intention was to continue the card bases running all the way along from um, left to right, but it wasn't actually going to work because um, it didn't match um, the length. So what I've done here is I've bulked up my card bases using the um, blue wooden uh, paper from the Country Woods Designer Series paper pack. So I will post links um, after this video with all of <clears throat> with all of the goodies that I've used in today's um, class, so you can see um, what products I have invested in to create this scrapbooking layout. So the Country Woods paper through the middle here, the card base here as well boho blue cardstock and then I've invested in the basic beige cardstock to cut down my photo mats. So because I wasn't doing one um, landscape photo, I've cut two photo mats here um, from the basic beige cardstock. So you will need uh, two sheets of um, cardstock to be able to replicate my layout if you're cutting two portrait photos. So when it came time to matting my photos, I had a look at the photos that I had I knew I wanted to include these two portrait ones because they were just so, um, they're just great. I love how they've turned out there. And then, of course, this side here was as is with the landscape photo and two three by four inch portrait photos through here. <clears throat> the only thing I didn't do, I didn't cut paper to run through here. So this was paper number four. I didn't run paper through the middle here because then that would have covered the um, cityscape design that I've used from my card bases. So you can take a scrapbooking pattern or guide and you can obviously mix it up to um, how it suits you. In terms of these strips here, these were actually the blue borders that are running and I love these because they're actually ribbed so they're like a textured cardstock and this just runs um, along my card here so um, I had obviously four of those so I've used <clears throat> two of them here and you almost can't even tell where that meets it just looks like one long continual piece of paper so I've butted that just under the bottom here and then I've got another one just up the top there for decoration above that photo um, you can see here where I've recreated the circular design on the base of my card. Um, I've actually just recreated that here. And then so you don't see the happy birthday on the disc, I've used one of the, um, this one here. So that had thinking of you today. I've covered that with the disc and then I've covered it with this blue um piece of paper here that's been dovetailed so I've covered the thinking of you I've then covered the happy birthday using this and using the mini alphabet dies I've just cut out the NYC for New York and then I've replicated my little dots here the same way that I have on my card so it's almost like taking the design that is going on the front of your card and putting it somewhere on your scrapbooking layout as a focal point or as like an embellishment cluster okay um, i've just added in this extra little blue um, dovetail piece of paper instead all right so that's my little tip for that side there taking um, that design from the front of your card and then incorporating it onto your scrapbooking layout on this side here this is pretty straightforward in terms of matting the photos this is all the same as the layout You've then got this circular pattern um, on the right-hand side. You've got three circles that are cut at three and a half inches. 
So what I did here was I took out my um, Spotlight on Nature dies. This is a really popular set for scrapbookers because you can use it for so many different things. Um, I have got the dies here with me. I have demonstrated both the mini alphabet dies on a previous Technique Tuesday class. And then I've also demonstrated the Spotlight of Nature dies as well. So you can go back to watch them in my Facebook group or on my YouTube channel. You can see here where I've used the mini alphabet dies to create my Central Park title. So you're going to want to stick these down. I just use glue dots because it's a little bit fiddly with the adhesive. Um, you could also use the fine tip adhesive glue, but you'd have to be really careful with the amount that you put on because you don't want it then coming out and smudging underneath because I have actually done that before um, and it doesn't look so great. <clears throat> so in terms of my circular dies here, um, I've actually taken, I've cut two circles out of one of the envelopes to create my circles here. So obviously one is a different color boho blue to the other and that's okay. The bottom one here, I've just used the Cityscape stamp, um, one of the stamps to stamp down the bottom of that circle. And then I've used this as my journaling box. So I've ruled my lines at a quarter of an inch, done my journaling, and then I've popped some of the little dots on there as an embellishment. Um, focus. This middle one here, I wanted to be different just to break the blue up. So I have actually cut the Spotlight of Nature die out of the, my card base and use that as a focal point here. And then just to embellish over the top of that, I've used one of the Thinking of You Today sentiments. I've covered that over the top. I've used one that was in another language because I'm not going to use that card. And then I had some of the um, blue ribbed paper. So I've cut that down and just dovetailed that and put that over the top so you don't see that language there. And then this one at the top, I've used one of my Cityscape um, embellishments. I've used the dimensionals that came in the kit to stick that on top there, just to lift that a little bit and give that some dimension. And then I've used some of the little rose gold dots that came inside the kit to embellish there. So again, really just taking the, um, <clears throat> taking the card design um, from the front of my card and then transferring that on over to the um, circles here as you can see with that one and that one there too. So they are my tips in terms of the creative aspect of that. So when you are on the website having a look through the different kits, you might see a kit that you really love the colours and you really love the embellishments that come in the kit. Um, don't be afraid to think of that as you know, using it with a scrapbooking kit and the um, layout, sorry. And the reason I chose this one is because there wasn't really anything else. I wanted to start scrapbooking New York, but there wasn't any real city themed stamps as such on my website. And to help me figure that out, I literally went onto my website. And when you're in the shop now section, there's a search feature at the top um, with a little like magnifying glass. I literally just typed in city, um, or cityscape and that will obviously bring up all of the products that are related to the topic that you might want to scrapbook. So <clears throat> don't be afraid to think a little bit outside the box if there is a paper suite that doesn't match what you're scrapbooking or you're looking for something in particular, try the search function on my website and see what products pop up because girls, I am literally finding stuff all of the time with Stampin' Up, the product range is so huge, it's so diverse, and there's always something new and different that's popping up that's um, getting me excited to create with. So just a close-up look on the <clears throat> dies that I have used. Um, so today's not going to really be demonstrative. It was more really tip-based. Tip this is the mini alphabet dies. So it's one whole sheet of dies. I love that when you run that through, it literally will <clears throat> cut them out all like so. And then what I found was happening was I was ending up with all of these little <clears throat> leftover alphabet pieces that um, I didn't need to use. So um, literally for like six bucks from Kmart, I went and got, um, we went and got one of these and I've literally just put it into this organizer here with all my leftover letters. And so um, these are in different colours. I've used white, pine and basic beige. 
I didn't want to bother filling um, two containers, so I might have like A, B in here, C, D, E, F, and so on. So I've ended up with all of the letters in the alphabet in this one organizer. So if I'm looking for any pre-cut letters, um, I've got them here. I had them in a baggie and then I just was pulling them out and having to like reorganize them every time. So I literally just grabbed this from Kmart, which I found really quick um, <clears throat> and really easy to use. So that is the Spotlight on Nature. Oh, sorry. This is the mini alphabet dies um, that I've used to cut out my NYC and Central Park title. And then the dies that I've used to create my circle down the bottom here are from the Spotlight on Nature die set. So I have bought the dies just on their own. I didn't get the coordinating stamp that went with it. Um, I love that you can buy the dies on their own, the stamp on their own, or then you can get it together as a bundle for 10% off. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got 12 circle dies here. If you're going to use um, the circle dies, you're also going to want your take your pick tool and your take your pick die brush tip, which I demonstrated, I think it was last week, okay? Um, so <clears throat> that will be a fun video to go back and watch if you haven't seen that one as of yet. Oh, these are all come off. So <clears throat> oh, I think that's why I had them stacked up this way before. So what I did here was I basically just grabbed one of my dies and I figured out which of the die was going to be the closest to the three and a half inch circle that it suggested to go down the right hand side of the page here. And then I've used um, that particular die to cut my circles out. So this one I have demonstrated already as well. Um, but I will post links to both of these die sets at the bottom of the video in case you would like to invest in them for your own scrapbooking. Now, if you don't have a large circle cutter, a Cricut machine, an old cutting system, um, then you can do what I've done here and you could literally just omit the circle from your layer altogether and you could have your photos um, on top of your scrapbook page like so. I know some of you have already invested in the Spotlight on Nature Dies, so you may wish to do the circles down the side here. If you don't have an old set of circle thin cuts from when we were with Close to My Heart or the Spotlight on Nature Dies and you want to participate in this week's challenge, just turn this into a three by three inch photo instead and then you can mat it by three and a quarter by three and a quarter cardstock underneath. Okay. So I hope that has inspired you. Apologies for my little coughing fit before, girls. I always think that when I'm teaching live, if I was doing this with you in a class or in person, um, then those things happen. I see Miss Jill and Sonia have joined us today as well. Thank you so much for watching, girls. I'm going to post our scrapbooking layout to my Facebook group and then upload this video to my YouTube channel so you can watch us back in your own time and... I really hope that it has inspired you to think about some of the kit collections that we have. You might see one in the range that you really like and I hope it inspires you to think of a way to um, uh, transfer that over to a scrapbook page as well. So thanks for joining Technique Tuesday. Have a great week, everyone, and I can't wait to see your layouts. Enjoy the rest of your day.